Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I have the October 2023 Potomac Beads Treasure Edition subscription box to share with you all today. I always love getting this box in the mail. It's always full of beautiful, high quality beads and findings. Uh, in case you're not familiar, Potomac Beads has two different subscriptions. They have the Treasure Edition, which is the one that I get, and then they also have the Kit Edition. I believe in the Kit Edition, you get three different projects each month with everything you need to make, whatever the project is. But in this one, the Treasure Edition, there's 15 to 20 packs of curated beads and jewelry making supplies. It's at least a $75 value. They have tons of videos on their YouTube channel where you can go to for inspiration and ideas if you need to. They put five golden tickets randomly throughout the boxes. I think they put five in the treasure edition and five in the kit edition. And if you happen to get a golden ticket in your box, you win a gift that's at least a $50 or more value. The cost of the box, if you pay for it monthly, it's $39.99. If you pay for it quarterly, it averages out to $34.99. So you save $60 a year. If you pay for it, the whole year at once, it averages out to $29.99 a month, so you save $120 a year. I'll put a link in the description box below to the Potomac Beads website to the subscription page where you can find out everything you need to know about both subscriptions and check it out and see if it's something you would like to subscribe to if you're not already subscribed. So I'm going to open up this little box here now so that we can peek inside. Get a little peek of what's in here and I know I say it every year every time and y'all are probably tired of hearing it but I really love these boxes because they they're really sturdy and they have that magnet magnetic closure and I always have to fight my husband make keep him from stealing them from me because he loves them too <laughs> well this one says ghoulish goodies the theme for this one is ghoulish goodies so it's probably gonna have a, some Halloween themed things in here and here's a little peek of things that are in there so hold on I'll get everything sorted out and I'll be back okay I've got about half of everything out of the box here and then I'll have to stop and get the other half out because it's pretty packed pretty full of beads and findings they always pack it pretty pretty full uh, the, like I said the theme is ghoulish goodies it says, as the wind weaves its haunting melody through the trees, it's the perfect opportunity to cozy up indoors. Picture yourself with a bead on it board on your lap, a sleek black cat as your companion, and immerse yourself in the delights of this year's bead harvest. And then at the bottom here, it's got their website where you can go and uh, get ideas if you need some inspiration and ideas. And then on the back here, it's got a list of their of the contents and I've got like I said I've got the first half out here there's quite a few in here and down here it says thinking outside the box share your original designs on Instagram and Facebook so first I have got some eight millimeter gemstone round beads and mine say white magnesite it's possible that you might not get the same exact beads that I do uh, they sometimes put different beads in different boxes I mean I'm sure you'll get an 8 millimeter gemstone it just might not be white magnesite but whatever it is it'll still coordinate beautifully with all the other beads and that's the same with all these beads as possible you might get a different color bead than what I get but they will still all go together really well and these are just really beautiful white mag I'm not sure I've ever had white magnesite when I first glanced at these I thought they were might be halite but I'm not good at identifying gemstones in the first place and then <laughs> but they're obviously not halide I just briefly glanced at them and thought that might be what they were but they're white magnesite and like I said I don't know if I've ever had white magnesite but these are just really pretty I love those designs in there of course like gemstones they're all just a little bit different so those are just really beautiful and then next I have check glass dagger beads 17 millimeter and the color on mine is amethyst and these are really pretty I have never done very much with dagger beads so this will give me an opportunity to try and do a little bit more with dagger beads I've just never done much with them uh, 
I think I have like hung them off the bottom of earrings as a dangle, off, as a drop, like off the bottom of earrings, is what I have mostly done with them. Of course, you could probably sew them together into a circle and make them look like a flower with these being the flower petals. And they're transparent. You can see my hand through them there. So those are really beautiful. Really, really pretty. Dagger beads. And then next I have Czech glass leaf beads, 14 millimeter. And these are just gorgeous. I love leaf beads. And these have the whole from front to back and I keep using this really thick eye pin that's hard to get through these holes I don't know why I don't get a thinner one to do this with but that's how the hole goes there from front to back and these are just beautiful I love that little little design in there Makes them look like a leaf. I think I said mine say lavender. So I said mine. Yeah, mine say lavender. And there's quite a few of them here. Quite a generous amount there. It's really, really pretty. And then next are check glass voodoo face beads. <laughs> These are cute. Uh, my little baggie says check glass voodoo funny face beads. It doesn't say the color, but obviously they're orange. And that's the hole goes like that. It's cute. Make a cute little pair of earrings and they're double sided. Same on both sides. And those are really nice really good for Halloween and then next are check glass pressed squares and mine say fire swirl is the color on mine those are just really pretty there got all kinds of different orange and Different shades of orange, I guess. Well, I don't know if I'm oh I'm trying to get it in wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to put it in where there's not a hole, so that's probably what my problem is. That's what those look like. Just out of the way you might can see better. They're just really nice. There's a little striations in there. They're not, they're different. The way the color settles in the bead is different in each one. And then next, I have check glass faceted rounds, 10 millimeter. And mine say, Mine don't say a color, so I don't know what the color is on these. But these are just really pretty. There's four of them here. I don't know if I said that. That's really nice. I really like that finish on there. Kind of a gray. You can see through it. You can see the pin through it there. And I have no idea what that finish on it is called, but they're beautiful. There's four of them. And then next are Miyuki seed beads. And I was not going to take these out of the 
uh, little bottle here but they say Montana and I know they look black in the tube so I put some out of my little tray here a few out I don't I don't know how much better you can see them in my little tray here but they're a really dark blue did I say they look blue they <laughs> I meant to say I don't know if I said that or not in the tube they look black but uh, they're really a, a really dark blue I put a few of them out there so that hopefully you could see the color better but I don't know if you can they might still look black to you but they're just a really dark blue and they are uh, let's see what size are they eight of they're eight of So those are really nice. I always love to get seed beads. And then next I have some cup buttons. And mine say etched slipper it full. And those are just beautiful. I love their cut buttons. It's just really pretty. It's got gold and purple. Depending how you turn it there, you can see all different colors in there. Green, green, gold, and purple. Just all kinds of different colors in there. Those are beautiful. They make good clasps for bracelets or like if you want to use, you can use them either in bead weaving, stringing, leather, or whatever you want to use them in. They're really versatile. And then next are two different colors of check glass round beads. Four millimeter. One of my colors is orange. It's really pretty orange. And my other color is topaz. Those are just really pretty. And then the last thing that I've got out here, and then I'll have to get out the other half of what's in the box, is something I'm really going to get a lot of use out of. And it is a thread cutter with cover. High quality cutting thread, high quality for cutting thread, thin wire, textiles, yarn, and more. Spring action handle. You all know I go through a lot of scissors. <laughs> Because scissors will dull your fire line very quickly. So I go through a lot of them. So I'm really thankful to get this. These are going to be really handy to me. So hold on. I'll get the other half of the contents out. And I'll be back. Okay. I've got the other half of the box out now. <laughs> and uh, here I've got some 4 millimeter Potomac Pearls. And mine say cream. And it's a 16 inch strand. And that's a lot of 4 millimeter beads on a 16 inch strand. Just a lot of beads, and I just love their pearls. They're so well made, and this is such a nice neutral color that will go with anything. So I just really love these. And then next I have a check glass mix, and I love mixes. I don't know why. And I tried to put them in my little tray, and there's too many, many I couldn't fit it in my little tray, so I'm going to have to dump it out on the mat here and look through it a little bit. I mean, I don't know why I love mixes. I've got enough of my own bead soup. I could probably make 100 mixes of my own, but <laughs> I just really love mixes and going through them. This bead is just really cool. It's, I guess this is a lamp work bead. That's really neat. It's a big, big thing, big bead. And then there's some squares and rectangles. There's black ones and orange ones. And then there's some of these little unusually shaped beads. I don't know what these are. They're 
they, they've got little dots on them. Makes me think of uh, board dice, <laughs> board game dice. <laughs> Those are really neat. And then uh, got some hearts here, heart shaped beads here. I see at least four of those. And then there's this bead. I don't know what shape. It's kind of like a long back home shape. And then there's, this is odd. I don't know what this is supposed to be called, but that's what that looks like. <laughs> and there's, uh, looks like there's a round, I don't know what, if that's a pearl or a gemstone or what that is. And there's some, that's a kind of a long cube and there's some uh, there's that one and then there's some little different sizes of little smaller cubes and purple ones and then there's some flat rounds that are that have the hole in the center like that and there's some red uh, orange ones and some black ones that's not one this is a flat it's like a coin bead a little small coin bead And there's some little, I think these, they look to me like they're rice beads. I'm not sure if that's what they are, but that's what they look to me like they are. And then there's some little orange, what appear to me to be fire polish beads. I don't know. Faceted. They're definitely faceted. And then there's some pinch beads here. With the three sides to them. And then here's some, I don't know, not exactly round. But definitely some interesting design in there. And these are kind of like some wavy beads with the center hole in the center there like that those are different and looks like there's one of these I don't know where the hole is in the center of him too there's some uh, drops some gray colored drops and here's the little looks like a little bellflower and there's one here that's different shape and size. And then here's a little, I guess it's kind of like a flower bead with the hole in the center. And I think I saw, yeah, no. I'm pretty sure I saw, yeah, here's another one of those, but it's a different size and color. And here's an oval with the hole at the top like that and here's a I don't know what shape this is but it's got a hole in the top too I think yep and I think that looks like about all the different things that are in here there's a little bead that looks like a fire polish bead but it's a different color
So hold on, let me get this cleaned up, and then I'll come back with the next thing. <laughs> okay, next is a check glass flat nugget bead. It's 24 millimeters, and mine, there's not, mine says travertine. So it's got a travertine finish, and this is really cool. That's really pretty. That'll make a really nice pendant. Really love that finish on there. It's kind of an amber honey color. That's just beautiful. Irregularly shaped. I guess that's why it's called a nugget bead. <laughs> and then next are check glass square rings. And mine say AB Peridot. And these are really pretty. They've got a really big hole in there. You can definitely get some leather through there. And there's, uh, looks like there's eight of them there. Love that color. And then next are some perfect form endless rings. And it says, 20 millimeters premium antique brass plating pack of five and I feel certain that I'm going to have to do some brick stitch around these and make some earrings because <laughs> I really enjoy doing brick stitch around things I did one video where I did a brick stitch around their uh, teardrop shaped perfect form rings that they have and now I can do some circular ones and I'm pretty certain that's what we'll have to do with these. What I'll have to do with these. <laughs> these are really nice. And then next are some Bead Tech beading needles. Uh, English beading needles for bead weaving and seed beading projects. And there's six, it's a six pack. And there's size two size 10, two size 11, and two size 12. And these are really nice because I just recently discovered that I can't actually use a size 12 beading needle. <laughs> I've avoided size 12 beading needles for years because I thought they would be terribly hard to thread. And then I finally just had to break down and find uh, hunt some the other day because I was doing a video where I was having to go through the beads a whole lot of times and it was really hard to do it with my size 11, which is what I usually use. And I finally broke down and I knew I had some size 12s around here somewhere. I just had not used them in a long time and I got them out and they weren't any bit at least a little bit harder to thread than my size 11s I don't know why I thought they would be and I said I was going to have to get some more now that I knew I didn't have a problem threading them and now here I've got some so this is really nice and I don't have any size 10s either I only have size 11s and then I have those size 12s that I found the other day but I don't have any size 10s either so that's really nice to get a variety of sizes of needles here that's really handy and then next is a bobbin of dragon thread. And this is five meters of size six green dragon thread. And green is a really good color that blends in with most beads, unless you're doing something with all white beads or clear beads, you know. Other than that, green really blends in well with most all, all of the colors. So that's really nice. Always can use thread. And next is a large oval spring clasp. And I've never seen a spring clasp this big. That's really neat. And it's got, uh, that's how it opens there. And it's got these big rings on each side to attach it to your project with. Probably be good for a leather bracelet. Might be good for a, a man's leather bracelet. That's really nice. And then last are two colors of Potomac Crystal Bicones. And I know I say it every time, but I really love Potomac Crystal Bicones. They're just so beautiful and so well made and uh, so consistently sized. One of mine is called Hyacinth and the other one is Light Peridot. And these are just really beautiful. Just really beautiful beads. Sparkly and shiny, and you all know I'm 
all about the sparkle and shine. <laughs> oh, they're just beautiful. So hold on, let me see if I can get this all in one picture and I'll be back. Okay, so there's the Potomac Beads Treasure Edition subscription box for October 2023 called Ghoulish Goodies. <laughs> there's lots of goodies in this box, I can't deny. Can't wait to see what we can make with these beads. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box below to the subscription page of the Potomac Beads website in case you want to check it out and read about the different subscriptions and and how they work and all that. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, hope you all have a great day. Take care.